I'm always intrigued by really good NBA players who went undrafted. Like, how did we actually miss them? And Austin Reeves is one I'm especially curious about because the 2020, 2021 draft was one that I kind of like didn't scout as intensely just because I was doing other things in life. So I didn't really watch any of Prospect Reeves. So I was fascinated to go back and watch him and see what people in the NBA missed. And there's a certain level of hindsight that it's impossible to separate doing stuff like this. But pretty insane to me that a player as good as Reeves was didn't get drafted at all. And Reeves was always a special foul baiter. And I think, like I say so often, Reeves had like elite bankable skills that even if there were holes in his game, which we'll get into, those traits were legit. And the foul baiting and like shot making touch were definitely one of them. He was so good getting defenders on his back, slowing down, like waiting for them to fly into him and his balance and body control, him hanging in midair, hitting these tough jumpers and floaters was absolutely amazing. He always had amazing free throw rate numbers and the tape backed that up. He was so good. Like, Again, he's like foul baiting BS, getting into this defender's shoulder, kind of flailing his arms, ripping through this defender's hands to force a foul, ends up finishing tough, and it's all that much better when Reeves was always willing to throw himself at defenders, draw these fouls, but was an amazing touch shot maker too. Reeves was just really, really difficult to stop when he was getting to the line because he, all, he also was just making all these shots, so good at just getting into defenders' bodies when Jeremiah Tillman here is like not in great position, his arms are down, so Reeves is just going to rip through them, draw a foul. That's an obvious call for the ref to make, and that generated him tons and tons of easy points, and this is a skill that translated seamlessly to the league. Free throw rate and foul drawing often will translate, especially at this high of a level. Reeves Euro stepping through defenders, drawing a foul there. One of the other incredible things about Reeves was his like strength and balance and body control, especially in midair, which we'll get to, are all ridiculous as he's very comfortable to Euro through the two defenders, take this lower body contact. This is like not a very stable position right Reeves looks like he's kind of falling over but he stays upright gets this shot off and draws the foul that is really impressive stuff giving him a chance to make that shot while also drawing the foul but there were definitely concerns or I can imagine there may have been concerns about his ability to separate on the ball without the foul drawing kind of bs that Reeves wasn't the quickest first step wise and he was an incredible ball handler and still is which we'll get to but when he couldn't win with the handle bigger stronger more athletic defenders could really overwhelm him which led to him struggling he had a couple possessions in this game against Deuce McBride where he just couldn't get anything Deuce locks him up and he ends up traveling here I think um we're gonna see one later as well where Deuce locks him up again Reeves spin move into a little floater and again like these are shots that Reeves was really good at and was able to make but it's tough to make a living off of these just tough shots right Reeves spinning back trying to you know draw a foul use his size but that's great defense and though that's a shot Reeves is able to make those tough shots are hard to rely on Again, an NBA level defender in Deuce McBride is just going to rip Austin Reeves clean right here. Can't get by with any sort of burst here. Tries to put his head down and explode. Deuce cuts him off. Tries to spin back and just rips him. Absolutely, absolutely clean right there. But Reeves, I think the fact that he was like the on-ball creator so much made his life more difficult as it does for most prospects. But we talked about the body control and like the balance and the midair stuff. That ended up being so great for Reeves is these tough shots became easier for him because he could hang in the air and like wait out defenders. Kispert is like jumping backwards, about to hit the ground when Reeves, when Reeves is like releasing this insanely tough shot. He had a pension for these kind of insane circus makes. And I think that's something that really does translate and does matter, honestly. I love this ability to take contact in midair. He was great with the screen, right? Never going to be a guy who's like a primary initiator without a screen, but gets downhill right here and is able to hang in the air off of one foot, moving forward, taking the contact, finishing strong with the and one. Like he was really, he wasn't, is a really good vertical athlete. And oh my goodness, like <laughs> just ridiculous shot making draws, tries to draw the foul, 
over the backboard. And this is the one play I always think of when I think about prospect Austin Reeves. Just, oh my goodness, his ability to hang in the air, control his body, beats Timmy on the switch with a quick crossover. And man, that's just like no way he should be able to get through and finish shots like that at the clip he did. Reeves was so unbelievably good at these plays. And like I said, even when Reeves really struggled to create separation at times, like he couldn't get by Jalen Suggs at all here, but Reeves behind the back throws up a tough floater. And I think it was reasonable to project that once Reeves got to the league, when he, you know, played with other good players, and of course he, he landed in a very fortunate spot with LeBron of all people, LeBron and AD, right? But that his shot diet would get easier and his efficiency would go up. And that's exactly what happened. But Reeves had this ability to create advantages at times. He wasn't a lead it by any means, but I think his handle was truly absurd for a 6'4", 6'5", guard, smooth behind the back without stopping at all. I love his ability to change directions here without slowing his momentum and then just easy finish to the left side right there. There was really no stopping him there. And Reeves was a pretty solid vertical athlete, like I said. We saw it show up mostly on him, like, hanging in the air and taking contact while, while in minute, right? Like, the balance, the kind of explosion off of one foot in traffic. But he was able to do this a little bit in terms of, like, dunking and stuff. He wasn't, like, an amazing athlete, but he could get downhill and he could finish in the half court. Like, he was a good, I would say, a pretty good athlete overall, um... And something that, like, it, it was functional, right? He could be a good athlete in terms of getting to his spots in the mid-range and really nice behind the back here to change directions. Hop step, this defender flies by, pump fake finish. His craft was always on display. And Reeves was just a really damn good driving and shooting prospect. And I think the, the one aspect that I've talked about a lot on this channel is his off-ball play was amazing, which is so important and translated to the league immediately. Reeves here going to hezzy drive into the paint, create an advantage, kick out, and immediately relocates to the perimeter, resets, pump fake into a little you know pull-up jumper. He was so good shooting off the catch and making these quick decisions. His he, Though Reeves wasn't like the highest level advanced passer in the world, his decision making was phenomenal. Reeves here... I'm going to kind of catch the ball, pump fake back to move Deuce McBride out of the way. Little dribble into a floater using his great smarts and touch to create shots for himself and for his teammates and all that good stuff. Reeves was so awesome at this like quick one dribble pull up. And obviously he was a great shooter too as Reeves, despite having like inconsistent shooting percentages, was obviously a great shooting prospect. He had the versatility where he was comfortable shooting off of movement, shooting pull-up jumpers. He could come off screens, you know, going to his left, going to his right. I've talked about all this like shooting versatility stuff. And again, like he didn't shoot great from three, like, you know, 30%, only 34 over his career after one good season at, at um, at Wichita, but the indicators were always clear, right? Really, really good free throw percentage his whole career. Really great two-point shot maker and took a lot of threes and a lot of unassisted threes. If we go back and look at the players who kind of rivaled Reeves' free th foul drawing, free throw shooting, and passing numbers, right? It's a pretty good group of stars at the top like Ja and CJ McCollum and even like the guys who didn't like Iman Shumpert, Grayson Allen, Derek White, like Dinwiddie, a lot of NBA players here. Um, not a ton of players just in general who have this kind of profile, these taller guards who can really shoot the ball um, and have this kind of volume, right? Not all of these guys ended up being great, you know, efficiency guys, but the volume is such an important predictor um, of future three-point shooting goodness. And of course, Reeves is a fantastic passer as well. He did shit like this where he was wrapping the ball around. And I think this also is related to his comfort in midair, hanging against this contest. Great vision there, wrapping the ball around to Manic for an open shot. And he was really at his best passing in the pick and roll and as like a quick connective off-ball passer. Love how he again uses the behind the back move here, re-screen, simple pocket pass to get his big, a wide open mid-range jumper. It wasn't always the most complicated stuff in the world, but it was, you know, really great timing on that lob down low. And this is a fun play here where he's going to connect with Alondes Williams on a lob there. But a lot of just exploiting the defensive mistakes, a little bit of proactive stuff like we saw in this first play, right? Drawing the defense down, and this is just a phenomenal play, <laughs> like hanging in the air, 
and, and, and getting that pass to go. And this is what we've seen him do in LA pretty much, right? Reeves, his, his same foul drawing BS is translated to the league where he gets smart on his hip and stops and draws a foul and hits the end one because he just has that level of touch with the the foul drawing craft and skill he's not just lucky and he's obviously not bigger and stronger than everyone he's clearly skilled when it comes to drawing fouls and as I kind of said playing off of the ball off of LeBron James right LeBron finds him in the corner Steph closes out kind of lazy Reeves attacks hits a pull-up jumper simple stuff his offensive load was lessened a lot but he could still run like bench pick and rolls against worse teams right like against teams like the Pistons or, or bench units he was really comfortable using a screen, using his great little pace, quick hesitation, burst past the big and finish with the reverse right there. This is the kind of utility that Reeves was able to bring, not just as like an off-ball guard, which has been his main thing with the starters, but as like a bench initiator with his pick and roll playmaking. Again, when you have a guy like Anthony Davis, it makes it easy, but he has the dexterity and the vision and the live dribble comfort. Part of what makes his handling greatness so translatable to passing, I think, because he has this like coordination with the ball and Reeves is able to use that as a playmaker. And of course, has been a really impressive shot maker in the league, like just cooking deer and Fox here. Beautiful little step back three right there. Has, has been an efficient on and off ball shooter throughout his career, despite poor shooting numbers his last couple years in college. And I think this was probably obvious, right? Given his really impressive volume right here his great volume is great free throw percentage his great mid-range shooting and in the league right Reeves 36 percent 39 percent poor not as great as rookie year but great efficiency everywhere else and always a great free throw shooter so he was always going to be a good shooter right like this was always going to happen despite his poorer stuff but the fact that everything else translated his craft his skill and that he has been athletic enough for the league which I think was probably always going to happen. And yeah, Reeves being an outlier ball handler skill guy for his size really is always going to translate. He gets McLaughlin on his back, spins behind the back, spin move, just dirty, dirty, disgusting play right there. And all of this stuff kind of coagulates into Reeves being a really intriguing prospect case that, yeah, maybe... A lot of times, guys who are older, guys who aren't as, you know, traditionally athletic and stuff, and I think oftentimes, from what I've seen, the NBA will index too much on raw three-point percentage. These guys will get slept on. When players like Reeves, who are really skilled, really smart, and have enough functional athletic tools, that's the thing with Reeves that we've been going over, right? He has obvious, really impressive traits. His intermediate touch, shot-making foul drawing craft and then the handle really are the the main ones to me but because he was really strong and could get up off of one foot and was explosive in traffic as a leaper he was able to use those skills and make them functional in a way that a lot of other players couldn't so i'm i'm very intrigued by austin reeves i'm hoping to to break down more undrafted players and their prospect tapes like herb jones fred van fleet i'm sure there's others i can do as well but reeves is just such a fun player and Let's watch this one reverse one more time before we get out of here. Where's that play? Where's the where? Where's the one reverse? Was it this one? No, it wasn't this one. It was this one. Yeah, beautiful play. I don't know. Austin Reeves is sick. <laughs> Let me know what you think.